Look, to high school dropouts, that shit's probably hot. But to most people that graduated, that just ain't it, Chief. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video. And today, we're back at it, taking a look at some cringy car TikToks, cringy car reels, just cringy car content in general. If it makes you feel a little squeamish inside, like you're watching a father kiss his son on the lips, Tom Brady. If it makes you feel a little weird on the inside like that, then it's probably cringy and you, you know it probably falls into this category we got people that are using depression as content we got delusional people and um everything in between so if you guys do want to see posts that fall under this category feel free to tag me in them send them to my instagram or tag my instagram either or i usually prefer being tagged because then they just pop up real nice in my uh little notification bar anyways tag me and let's dive right in i didn't even need to do my hair for this one it's it's midnight so I'm not gonna do my hair at midnight before bed. I'm sorry if I look a little a little weird. I apologize. Anyways, uh first one. Let's meet the crew. Meet the crew. Eric, the leader. Lady the mother. Blake the Doper. Blake. Jack the Crash Dummy. Oh Jack. Maria the Mustang fan girl. You own a Jeep. That's the crew. That's the crew. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive crew. A lot of people ask, Drew, <laughs> are you in any car clubs? Are you in any car crews at all? No. No, I'm not. And I don't ever think I will be because um, <laughs> I, I don't think my cars can fit in with these guys. You know, I, I just think that these guys are a little bit too, uh, too above me. Uh, wh wh what did we have? We had like a, a Ram work truck cummins or something it looked like a diesel big old 2500 or something i don't know what the ram specs are and everything like that let's go through the the list really quick we got the crew really quick uh let's see w what are they the crew of all right we got Derek. we got the big old ram it's big it's got off-road wheels and it definitely looks like he's leading a bunch of bulls into the farm i mean it, it looks like a, a work truck to me libby the mother nissan armada i think is that what that is Never seen anybody post that up on Instagram, but all right, we got Libby. Good old Libby. Blake and the Honda CRV, the Joker, of course. You know, a little uh, arch nemesis for Batman, of course, notoriously driving around the CRV makes complete sense. And then the Chevy Cruze, Crash, the Crash Dummy Jack. One hell of a crew right there. One hell of a crew. Oh, I almost forgot. How could I forget? Last but not least, Maria, the uh, Mustang fangirl who drives a Jeep. <laughs> Let's read some comments. What are terrible days to have Insta? How do I unmeet the crew? <laughs> and 3,300 likes. Holy shit. I'm guessing uh, the, 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 the cruise owner is the guy that runs this page because it's called that 1.4 cruise. Shouldn't it be called the crew? I think it's great that, oh my god, people are horrible on Instagram. I mean, like, we're laughing at it, but we're laughing at it on our own page. Going to their page and attacking them is just ruthless. You don't got to do that shit. Oh, I get it. It's an edit of the most boring, saddest cars <laughs> The road these people are ruthless hey look at you know besides Derek the leader this is probably most of their first cars so we got to give them a pass Derek looks like a bit of a hard worker so I think Derek worked his way up to that truck but uh everyone else they're all gonna be driving around GTR soon so don't worry okay I I believe they are I believe it one hell of a crew though can I send my application in holy smokes all right moving on next post Let's take a look at uh, what this broken looking car is going to do. The music's copyrighted, so I'll put my own music. I think it's a little bit more fitting. Look, to high school dropouts, that shit's probably hot. But to most people that graduated, that just ain't it, Chief. Being able to not even drive your car. Like, I've seen stanced cars done well, and they're clean. 
but not even being able to go down your street without your your butt buddy to help you out you know you got to unleash him from your passenger seat and let him climb out for the brief couple seconds i don't know about that one you know like that that's just a little bit too far now you might be saying drew you're being a little harsh man you're being a little harsh okay maybe i am let's read some comments these are not coming from me let's read some that car absolutely needs a new owner that car is begging to be put down yeah it doesn't even want to go down the street anymore it doesn't even want to be a car ruined it with all that negative camber i mean you could have negative camber and and make a clean gt86 you just you went a little, little, little too low for the clout you know ruining a really fun car so that you can get stuck leaving a completely flat driveway bro it's a lifestyle you wouldn't get it yeah okay that one that one is a little bit true you know it's a little bit too much you know just just raise it a quarter of a fucking inch and you could probably drive imagine going at work with this okay that guy needs to read a book style needs to die yeah i mean i feel like we're seeing less and less of this and at the end of the day you could do whatever you want with your car but like there there's a point to where it doesn't make sense anymore and i feel like he's crossed that point here and maybe after this video he raised it up i really hope he did because <laughs> your buddy's got to go to work eventually unless he's unemployed he's got a job to do and he can't be in your passenger seat to help you out all the time so i'm just i'm just saying anyways we'll let this guy work on his male stripping job and uh we'll move on all right next clip oh god all, already already hit me with the cringe all right okay let, let's let's listen to it let's see what we can grasp from this and let, let's just let's just see what this guy brings to the table <laughs> I like how he edited in a racing video audio that wasn't even his. Like, unless it's a it's a pre-made sound effect, he clearly edited in, like, some sick-ass race and just put his shitty-ass video over it. Like, you could hear him yell, one, two, three, and you ain't racing nothing in that Corolla. Is it a Corolla or a Camry? I really don't give a fuck. Okay, it's, it's a Rolla just by, by his, his name. Usually, when I don't know what shitty car these cringy kids have, you look at their name and they always have it in their name like a dumbass. Like, like I'm so happy when I got my V6 Mustang, I didn't put that new age Drew or something like that. Like <laughs> something dog water, you know? Okay, so l let's read this thing because I'm like zoning out just trying to watch it just of how bad it is. I, it, it just skips so fast. How ya doing? Doing pretty good posting some race that's not his do you need anything too long of a clip nope he's going what 65 careful now careful the roller might not be able to handle those kind of speeds i'm worried about you with your blue fucking valve covers don't be i'm good how fast was he going there i think he was going a little slower yeah dude uh, he barely broke 60 in this whole video he didn't even post himself going fast he's doing 60 at 5,000 rpm holy shit Keep it up, bro. You'll hit 81 day. Yeah, like, at least if you're going to post some cringy content like this, being depressed, send it, you know? Like, fucking make some content. Don't pull out the phone on your way home from work doing 60. This cringe shit as fuck. You think this shit look good and gonna care about you doing 68 miles per hour? That's the speed limit, my guy. Shit talk on me. Try. I mean... I mean, I probably would have added a period there and took out a couple words that I'm not allowed to say, but Instagram be brutal, you know, <laughs> it just be like that. All right, next clip. I'll rather walk. Wouldn't it be I'd rather walk? Whatever. That's 18 likes. Let's take a look. Ooh, ooh. Wait, that's what it looks like at night? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I got the rainbow road under my shit. I got the LGBTQ lights Ooh, with the Wolverine scratch marks. Oh my God. Those only come out at night, baby girl. Only on date night do I unveil and unwrap my brand new pack of Amazon scratch marks. Me at these rude customers. What the fuck? I see why it has 18 likes. I, I, I see why it's got 18 likes. I can't believe someone turned a perfectly good Hyundai Sonata into this and of course in his name isa sonata sick i'm tired of being nice man i'm tired of being nice like th this cringy shit this shit needs to be clowned on never go to somebody's page and attack them but we can laugh at it here you feel free to comment down below we can laugh at it here i like how i can't even see the comments but i just see a penguins walking i would rather take the bus next to the smelly crackheads 
and just the, the the people that just don't have a car yet i would much rather take the bus with them the hard workers than take a ride in this crusty sonata because i'd have like a thousand people everyone on the road would turn and look at the sonata with the rainbow road going on underneath it and just be confused can we stop putting neon underglow on grocery getters please the walmart parking lot doesn't need to be lit up with rainbow lights we don't need to see all the all the meth needles underneath the cars in walmart we don't need to see all that so let's just stop what are his hashtags nissan nissan ultima nissan Sentra. he doesn't even have hyundai ultima in his fucking thing he's not even repping it his nissan ultima and gtrs and girlfriend girl power what the fuck is going on here moving on how fast would you go if she needed you let's see how fast this guy goes let's just see careful buddy careful in the v6 mustang we need we need a double check right here how fast is that 105 dude's about to hit the governor in that bitch i, I bet the governor is like 106 or 110 it's usually around there uh there's no way he's maxing out that speedo be careful buddy be careful is he putting diesel he had the green handle in also, don't film yourself speeding through traffic with one hand. Like, if you have to speed with traffic, be alert. Nine and three. Let's let's keep it safe here. Dude's still on stock wheels and tires. That's all. That's all I saw in this first clip. I saw his cringy sticker that's not centered at all. And then I just look down and I see his stock wheels and tires down there. Careful, buddy. Careful. Might be too much car for you. The V6 Mustang, but this might be a little bit too much car for you. Also, if your girl needs you and she's relying on the guy with the V6 to get there quickly, she's screwed. I'm just saying it. She's screwed. He's not getting there. Either he's going to fucking spin out and crash, or he's just going to be five minutes late because he's in a goddamn V6 Mustang. If she's smart, she would call someone with a, with a real car, you know? With a real muscle car. If she calls you and you're the V6 Mustang owner, that means that she tried calling five other dudes before she reached you. And they were all busy. Probably banging a hotter chick. All right, I think we're in our cringy... Uh, depression section although we already had a couple i think this is where they start to ramp up so let's take a look at this one i'm about to sell my mustang i'm about to sell it at least this guy has a coyote but fucking hell man one-handed speeding through cars it looks sped up i don't think he's actually going that fast but i could be wrong um i want to see if there's a speedo if I could actually see it. I can't see it because his fucking fat, long-ass thumb is in the way. That is one long-ass thumb. I feel like my thumb is normal-sized. Holy shit, that is an extendo thumb right there. Jesus Christ, this dude This dude could game and fucking click his triggers with his thumbs. This guy's crazy. Anyways, yeah, uh, what did it say? The closer you are to death, the more alive you feel. I, I don't even know what to say anymore, man. Like, I could say bad things. That would probably get this video demonetized. I'm not going to go that route. Like, why does enjoying your car and going fast have to be a sign of, like, depression or, like, you want to die in your car? Like, I just like going fast. I don't want to die, though. Like, am I, am I the minority here? Am I the oddball out? I don't think I am. I think a lot of people just want to have fun with their cars. This one's not that bad. I mean, all things considered, it's not that bad. I really want to see that Speedo. I think I got a glimpse of it right there. I'm going to try one more time to just see that Speedo. I see a check engine light, so that's not good. I do see a check engine light. Fuck, I can't, I can't see it. I don't know if it's on the left or the right in these cars. I don't know. Okay, so he's at 6,000 RPM. I do see that. Oh, he is revving that bitch out. Okay, I couldn't see it. Yeah, I couldn't see it. He is doing a pull for sure, though. I mean, he is moving, but I just don't know how fast he's going. And then usually on these more popular posts, there's just even goofier comments. The adrenaline rush after is better than any higher buzz. Everything that kills me makes me feel alive. It sounds like a bunch of like cringy teenagers on Tumblr back in the day when they first tried like, I don't know, weed or something. Never drive safe, guys. Life is short. Make it shorter. What is this? What is the world we live in? People are fucking weird. All right, moving on. I don't even want to, I don't even want to be on that post anymore. This one says, behind every pole, every downshift, is a boy just trying to clear his mind. I always have to read it like that. Like, that's just the voice I imagine when I read these cringy ass shits. Let's watch the clip. Let's see if he does anything cool here. He doesn't even show him, like, doing a pole. I mean, he kind of gets on it a little bit, but he's in a canyon. So we didn't even get to hear the, the great sounding 
Pontiac GTO. At least do something cool. At least show me doing like a poll or something. Show me something. Give me some content. Not you making a fucking slow turn in a shitty canyon in a GTO. And like take off the cringy music in the background too. And just let us hear the engine. Is this not the car scene? Is this is this not about cars? Car content is so ass backwards nowadays. Like it's more about like feelings than just about cars. Just show me you having fun in the canyon. You took out your camera to the canyon. Did you take it out there to film depressing TikToks or to have fun? What is wrong with the world? Been clearing my mind a lot lately. Stoked for the leaves to start falling. What does that even mean? I just miss when cars were about cars. And you would just like open up Instagram and see someone doing a, a poll, a race, a drift, a donut, a burnout, anything. Not can't wait to fucking die. Like why? Next one. You know what's going to happen if you keep driving like that. <laughs> okay. Let's see how he's driving. Yes. More cringy music. My camera overheated, so we just got to look at this clip for a bit. But Jesus Christ, man. Why do people want to die while driving? It does not sound ideal to me. If one day speed kills me, don't cry because I was smiling. Paul Walker, RIP. I 100% believe that Paul Walker and his family... And everyone around him would be much happier if he did not die in that Porsche accident. Whether you like him or not, whether you like that he dated minors and stuff like that, allegedly or not, uh, whether you like that, that's on you. But you cannot tell me that that was the best outcome. Oh, I didn't even read his second caption because I was looking at the violent crash that he put on screen. Yeah, I know. I'm okay with it, though. What part of dying violently in a car, potentially burning to death, sounds okay? What are you fucking talking about, you delusional kid? Come on, guys. Like, nothing about being in a violent car crash sounds fun. Yes, it is very possible that if you are a car guy, it is a byproduct. And it is possible to happen just by the activities that you do. If you're a canyon guy, if you're a street racer, or an idiot doing takeovers, it's possible. But you don't want that to be your outcome. And neither does your family. So don't be an idiot. And don't idolize you know fucking death like that it's sick seriously I'm, I'm just gonna say it how it is it's sick i also don't know if i could show the car crash so i might blur it but i might not we'll see these videos drain me like you watch me slowly just lose my mental capacity as i just go through all of these because it's just the same regurgitated shit over and over and over like can we just go back to posting like cool burnouts, cool exhaust clips, flybys, racing. Or does the car seem just have to keep getting into like this depressed state? Let's do better, guys. Let's do better. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this. You got some enjoyment out of it. I'm sorry if uh, you were in the video. You see any clips like this? Tag them to me. I got to go back to working on the Supra tomorrow. So we'll have that built motor in and we'll post some real car content. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Subscribe. And until next video, peace.